The Empire's on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. The globalist social engineers are not just targeting us with propaganda. They are manipulating our genetics. We are being targeted at every level by estrogen mimickers that lower our testosterone and other hormones and natural compounds that the body needs. After consulting top doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists, and others, we have developed what I believe is the ultimate non-GMO organic super male vitality formula sourced from powerful organic herbs and then concentrated for maximum potency. Super male vitality was developed to activate your body's own natural process instead of using synthetic chemicals. Super Male Vitality by InfoWars Life is so powerful that I only take half the recommended dose. For a limited time, we are offering 15% off Super Male Vitality at InfoWarsLife.com to introduce you to this powerful supplement. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today to secure your Super Male Vitality. InfoWarsLife.com a chemical spill contaminating the water supply in nine West Virginia counties. This year alone, over 300,000 people in West Virginia had their drinking water contaminated. What are the health effects of having these drugs in our drinking water? It's forced medical treatment without the consent of residents. My friends, water filtration is one of the most basic actions you can take to protect you and your family from the harmful toxins and heavy metals in your tap water. On average, the county says it sprays with the glyphosate at least once a week. A few filters cut out the glyphosate that is found in water supplies worldwide. Remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, hydrofluorosilicic acid, sodium hexafluorosilicate. Fluoride it is in tea, it's in coffee, it's in water, it's in bread, it's in toothpaste. It is our responsibility to protect our families. The establishment's not going to do it. It's time to take action. It's time to filter our water. For a limited time, use the promo code WATER15 and get 15% off on all ProPure systems at InfoWarsStore.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. From the water table, to our soils, to the atmosphere itself, our world is becoming more and more toxic each and every day. But it's not just the air outside that's toxic. Indoor air has been shown to have two to five times higher concentrations of pollutants than even outdoor air. And most Americans spend 90% of their time inside using toxic chemicals within their homes. There are more than 42 million smokers in the United States. Well over a thousand types of mold and mildew linked to numerous conditions. And don't forget the fact that six million Americans live with pets they're allergic to as well. When I began to research these statistics, it was clear to me it was time to start cleansing my lungs in order to combat the toxic environment that we cannot escape but that we can fight back against. Made with organic and wild cultivated herbs and manufactured in the USA, the new InfoWars Life Lung Cleanse is here in a convenient spray bottle that can be brought with you throughout any toxic environment. Now available exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com or by calling toll-free 888-253-3139. Babies incinerated to heat UK hospitals. Soylent Green, ladies and gentlemen, is made out of people. But now children are literally being passed through the furnace in order to fuel hospitals in the UK. They're being sacrificed on the altar of efficiency and prosperity. What is the secret of Soylent Green? The powdered flesh from dead babies. Some people believe they can cure disease. Because of its enormous popularity, Soylent Green is in short supply. Remember, Tuesday is Soylent Green Day. The supply of Soylent Green has been exhausted. You must evacuate the area. Today is Tuesday! The federal court ruled that the shareholders of PepsiCo, big Bilderberg Group company, are not allowed to know uh, what they're using the baby parts for in the flavoring, but we already know. So enjoy the flavor. We're going to get the real solution, which is going to be a combination of death panels and, and sales taxes. I'm consistently pro-death. I'm for assisted suicide. I'm for regular suicide. I'm for whatever gets the freeway moving. Is spending a million dollars on that last three months of life for that patient, would it be better not to lay off the, those 10 teachers and to make that trade up in medical costs? But that's called the death panel. Uh, and you're not supposed to have that discussion. They told me to, uh, to say that they were sorry, but that you had become unreliable.
Is this the kind of society that you want to live in? Any kind of society that would do this to its children will do it to its senior citizens. It will do it to its dissidents. That kind of society will also eventually turn on its police, on its army, on its prison guards, on the quislings and the collaborators who make that possible. This is nothing but a suicide cult. The scoops are on their way. The scoops are on their way. I repeat, the scoops are on their way. You will find out why Soylent Green means life. You will find out why Soylent Green means death. We gotta stop them! It is the secret of Silent Green. Silent Green is people! The next thing they'll be breeding is like cattle for food. You gotta tell them. Give not your children to the fires of Moloch. We can pull up Leviticus on screen for folks. Leviticus 18.21. Do not give any of your children to be sacrificed to Moloch. For you must not profane the name of the Lord your God. That is the New International Version, uh, New Living Translation. Do not permit any of your children to be offered as a sacrifice to Moloch. Oh, you'll bring shame on the name of your God. Where's the King James? There it is. And thou shalt not let any of thy seed pass through the fire to Moloch. Neither shalt thou profane the name of God. That's pretty wild that, 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 that using the Lord's name in vain is, is, is like next to sacrificing your children. But I guess it's about as common with 52 million, 54 million, whatever it is, abortions in this country. Give or take a million or two. It's like one man dies. It's a tragedy. 10,000 dies. It's a statistic. We're going to cover that with a special report on do flags at half mask, do flags at half mask insult the troops? I think it does. Now I'm going to explain why in just a moment. I mean, when Whitney Houston died, they had the flags at half mass nationally. Uh, it's incredible. We're going to be talking about that coming up because it just shows it's not about the flag being at half mast. It's about how sentimentality becomes the replacement for actual real freedom or taking care of the troops. I'm going to explain that in a moment. Uh, Dane in California, thanks for holding. Thanks for calling. Alex, how you doing? I'm doing all right, brother. Hey, uh, well, I just want to switch it up real quick and say that I'm a trendy, and I love the idea of the bracelets. As long as they're yellow, purple, red, you know what, any color of the rainbow, I'm good with it. You know why? Because I'm trendy, I love Obama, and he's my savior. And you like uh, and you like Obamacare prices going up, and you like death panels. Oh, I love Obamacare, Alex. It's the greatest thing. Everybody has health care for free, and I get to keep my doctor. And Obama never lies about anything because he is great, and he's just wonderful. Well, Alex, I'm glad uh, you're not racist and love him. I, I'm sorry. I, I can't. Uh, I can't handle this guy anymore. Is, is anybody not watching the television set and understanding this guy is a liar? He lies, he lies, he lies. He racist, racist, racist. Lying. Racist. Yeah, you're right. I, no, Alex, I'm not a racist. I'm a trendy, okay? And I love my taser bracelet because it makes me feel safe. And it's wonderful. I think all men should have to wear the taser bracelet and submit to their wives, but only men to prove they're not sexist, and then the wives sit there and zap it. But you won't wear the taser bracelet on your wrist. And me and, and everybody else. <laughs> you wear it on your ankle. <laughs> Sorry. My ankle, both my bracelets around my neck. Yeah, it's just it's it'll make me feel good. I don't know. I'm well, just that's what you do to prove you're not racist. <laughs> I love you, brother. You know, I've been listening to you for years now, and I'm a first-time caller, and I, d I just had to call in. You know, you got to have a little humor with this stuff, and it it's just out of bounds. I mean, it's just constant. It never stops. The lies never end. It's a never-ending pit of lies and deceit and devil-worshipping and you name it, pedophilia. These guys are criminals. Well, that's what it is. Evil is seizing all of the major institutions. It as happens in history. It's repeating and telling us good is bad. Freedom is bad. The family's bad. Men are bad. Women are bad. George Washington's bad. 
I mean, these are obvious. I mean, look at Al Sharpton. There's a photo of him on Drudge. Uh, details, Sharpton was FBI mob snitch. Well, I mean, look at him. Who would associate with a degenerate, disgusting person with that much horrible taste? I mean, look at that hair, folks. I mean, he if I was a Hollywood casting agent, I would hire him as, as well, as the person to play the pedo bear. And I'm not saying he's actually a pedo. I'm just saying he looks like he looks like just 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 the the epitome of a de, uh, of a joke of a fraud of a of a scamster of a of a stinking pile of crap uh, uh, of a race baiting FBI COINTELPRO disinformation officer just like Jesse Jackson who on record brought out Martin Luther King to be shot and then helped cover it up. I mean that's who these guys are. The only reason they haven't been killed is because they're playing ball with the system. It's absolutely disgusting, ladies and gentlemen. Really weird statements out of him, though, though. I'm a cat, not a rat, but I was fat. Benny Eggs, Chin, Fritzy, Corky, and Baldy Dom. That's almost as important as topless woman ransacks McDonald's, steals ice cream. Oh, my goodness. Here's some of the stories up on Infowars.com. And there are scores of them on the site. Man, I tell you, there are new banker suicides and deaths and murders every day. CEO of Liechtenstein Bank. Oh, that's one of the big places that people park money. Murdered in broad daylight. I mean, it's getting bad. Cops snatches man's cell phone as he videos traffic stop. Says it could be a firearm. I want to play that later. We have a riot in the Ukrainian parliament as they beat each other up. I want to get to that. Marriott, again, confirmed special event where Bilderberg's being held this year in Europe. I'm going to send Watson bare minimum. I might go. Russia says U.S. mercenaries in eastern Ukraine. That's big. I got to cover this. Red Dawn supporters rally to defend family facing showdown with the feds. Flags at half mass insults troops. I want to play that video in a moment. And Eric Holder wants gun owners to wear smart gun bracelets. You know, you know what? I don't think in casting I would cast him as. I, I would cast Al Sharpton as like a vampire that 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 that, that sucks children's hope out and, and destroys their future. And then creates racial division. I mean, now he looks like he's, 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 he's emaciated or something. I shouldn't even be talking about Al Sharpton. I mean, there's just no end to this guy reading off teleprompters. There's a lawsuit out. Nursing home routinely hired strippers for elderly residents. <laughs> Yeah, see, uh, they love that kind of, quote, corruption. They'll probably put all those people in jail or something. Meanwhile, you know, if you're flying little kids out to Saudi Arabia, kidnapped out of their backyard, you get a medal. Russia issues warning as Ukraine cracks down on protesters. NATO warns against historic mistake. Yeah, what's happening is they know, and I predicted that what will probably happen is Russia will end up taking more than just Crimea because the people are going to demand it, and you're going to have a break now in ethnic cleansing on both sides, it'll turn into a new Bosnia Herzegovina. And that's where all this is going. And then they'll call it Russian aggression when the West started the fight, overthrew the government, and inflamed the sectarian divisions with at least five billion greenbacks. Five million greenbacks. Five billion greenbacks. Hard to even get my mind around that number in the last four or five years to stir all this up over there. That's on record. All right, I'm going to go to Michael and um, Dustin and uh, Mike and uh, Sean and others here in a moment. But here is the report I mentioned. Then we've got Leanne McAdoo's report coming up as well on how big corporations are exempt from Obamacare, but you aren't. Man on the street, very informative and very politically incorrect. Um, so let's uh, go ahead and go to uh, my report. Alex Jones flags at half mass our insult to troops. We need to probably add on the YouTube, our insult to troops. Flags at half mass insult 
because the headline on InfoWars was flags at half mass insult trips, which I guess you can use, but I think we should say flags at half mass insult.